Welcome back to beautiful, sunny Bangkok, Thailand. Today we're going to be starting off in the famous Lumpini Park. But today, guys, I want to show you a different park. I want to show you Benja Kitty Park a little bit closer to Sukhumvit. So if I want to show you Benja Kitty Park, you ask, why am I in Lumpini Park? I'm in Lumpini Park because there is a walkway that takes you from Lumpini all the way to Benja Kitty Park. So we're going to walk that today. We're going to find some street food along the way. And I'm going to introduce you or reintroduce you if you watch some of my other videos to my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Joe Perilla. Let's go. All right, so there's two ways you can go when you get out of Lumpini Park. That's exit one, by the way, I forgot to say that. You can either turn left, walk up and cross the road to the start of the Skywalk, or you can turn right, as you saw me just do, go over the bridge, come down and you're at Soy Polo. Soy Polo is where Polo Fried Chicken is. You'll know that because you watched my other video, I'm sure. So there's a famous chicken shop here, so you can actually grab some chicken uh, and some Isan food, and you can bring that to the park. I just did a video there, so I'm not gonna do that, but. Um, yeah, you can walk down here and connect to the Skywalk from Soy Polo. So we're going to do that. Well, look, here's the main man now doing his thing. Joe Perilla. All right, yes, Joe. All right, so basically I said that we weren't going to get any chicken because I've just done a video here, but then we smelt it and Joe said, I don't care about your video, I'm getting it. <laughs> it smells incredible. And I have eaten here about five years ago. So I think it's worth grabbing some and we can take it to the park for our little picnic. You're right, it just looks so good. We can't walk past this. It's just the smell of the garlic, that fried garlic um, is unbelievable. Sticky, and, uh, sticky yeah, garlic sticky on top. Sticky garlic. I'm a, I'm a cheap date, Joe. <laughs> Come. Come on, go. Bye bye. Right, so on the way down, there's a Luk Jim Pa shop. A quick deal. Luk Jim Pa fish ball noodle soup shop. There's a Tam Sang shop next door, so just a normal stir fried shop. Um, so you could grab some stuff from here, but obviously soup and picnics don't really mix, do they? All right, we've also got um, ancient noodles, so... Uh... Oh, yeah. ah, he took young, no? <laughs> they have a dry Make look in man. Make it look. You want to have a dry noodle option? We've, we've committed now, mate. <laughs> I was ready for, I wanted you to say no, you've committed now. Uh, quit the owl, quit the owl, quit the owl hang, no? How about me hang, no? Okay, may I soup, no? May I soup? How many, huh? One. So this is one of those ones where I try and tell people, get off the main road and get down the back streets because, like, most people would consider where Soy Polo is to be a back street. It is a back street, but people just know Polo Fried Chicken. So people only go to Polo Fried Chicken and turn back around and go back out to the park. Whereas like there's all these little communities, <coughs> even in busy, busy Bangkok, we've got all the skyscrapers around us. We still got this hyper local little community with all this really good looking food. We've got Kalman Gai, we've got these ancient noodles. We're gonna go hit another East Sun joint around the corner in a sec. So there's always round every corner, a little surprise in Bangkok. All right, so we've got, we got dry egg noodles. With uh, pork, with, right? And now we've got ruam, so we've got, she just put everything on. Ah, excellent. Fish cakes, fish sauce, Even the lot. The excellent. Lot. There's more food down here than I expected. Yeah, I, I, this is what I was just saying a, a second ago, like, because um, most people only come down these streets to go to, to Polo Fried Chicken. Uh, which is what I right? did. So you're yeah. like, oh, I've gone down a back street. This is a bit, this is off the beaten path. But no one ever goes further into the soy. There's so much food around here. Um, I'm kind of wishing that this um, street led directly into the park so we could just keep walking down and keep picking up food because like this just it's amazing um to think that we are in the middle of busy bangkok isn't it yeah and actually it's really not that far from the very popular place of Sukhumvit. i mean it's it's not that far not 10 far minute walk all. yeah not far at all and i was um i actually got here via i got here via a motorbike right i got here 
motorbike taxi and where I live on the other side of town so it is quite quiet where I live um, it just reminds me when you're going through Saturn and see Lom like how busy it actually is at the, in the morning uh, at eight o'clock in the morning rush hour traffic and then you get here and you're just in like this little sort of hidden oasis and it reminds me a little bit of the old city you have these like old rustic style buildings yeah. not the fancy glitz of Saturn and see Lom definitely I think this is soy four <laughs> all right joe so this is actually the walkway here so above yeah yeah so we would have come in from over there but we're going to join it there but if you turn left that's where we're going to join it but there's some more food to the right hand side so we're going to try and grab a little bit more okay. food ready excellent let's go all right so we've got uh an all right so we've got uh um, just here, which is another one that I would definitely get if we weren't going to the park. So yeah, I could just, uh, Sadi Khab? Sadi Khab. So I could just walk down here all day. I could walk down these little side streets all day, just chatting uh, to the locals in my poor pigeon's high. Um, all right, here we are. Is this us on the thumb? Could be, or is this also? Oh, there's a big, yeah, big pot down there, right? Oh no, I don't think that. I, think, oh, I was just close. Oh, that's a plant pot, Joe. <laughs> Joe the food, Joe the food expert. We're gonna go get a sometime in this. Do not, do not lie and say you didn't think the same thing. Joe, I was like, where's the sometime? And Joe was like, Joe was like, yeah, yeah, big pot over there with the thing. <laughs> I actually thought that was the clay pot with the, the, the thing. Did you? Yes. <laughs> I heard the words. Oh, I've clocked that too. So it's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> know, I'm not even. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was the sometime pot yeah. as well. In our defence, like from back here, like look at it. Don't you think that looks like a sometime pot there? And the sun's in our eyes as well. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Amateurs. Our tam pupalana. Okay. Pepper. Right, let's see who bottles it now. <laughs> I've got crab and pala and, pen, pen. and very spicy. Well, right, as Joe's just clocked, we've got got pod, uh, stir fried, <laughs> stir fried, deep fried frog. We've also got intestine on a stick. Uh, not uh, a quail and some intestines there. Some funky stuff here. Oh, we've even got some maggots in the back. Silkworms. Silkworms, not maggots. Sorry. At least they're cooked. Cap. Four gear banner. Ah, how are you? Three years. Three years. Nung lo. Got on a cap. So if we'd have turned left, we could have seen it. my man with with a. Uh, Actually, our 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 tam tam thai na, pen pen na, pen na, tam thang na, tam thang na me, hey, thang qua na. Wait 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 wait. Stop. 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 Oh look, he's also got some epic looking grilled chicken here. Look, just gone on the barbecue. This one's ready. Lung, lung, cup, lung, uh, chair like up, lung, cyan, lung, lung, cyan, cyan, lung, cyan, sometimes lung, cyan, cup, what do you have it? They have a cup, my long, look, cyan, lung, cyan, ah, cyan, a lawyer, okay, I'm in China, cup. Okay. Joe, Joe's here going, what are you like? Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is the longest walk, the longest intro to a park walk I've ever been involved with. This is what he said to me. <laughs> I don't know how many park walks he's been involved with, but oh. we were meant to just walk literally pick up a somtum and then walk to the park and have a picnic. We've now stopped at about six stops, but I can't walk past people and not buy stuff. Because I now feel guilty that we didn't buy the somtum from him. I bought it over there. And I actually wanted somtum Thai. I didn't want uh, That was my fault. So, uh, <laughs> so I, um, I'm gonna get a somtum from him. And then I can't, I feel guilty that I bought the chicken from Hollow Fried Chicken and not here. So I've had to buy chicken as well. Sorry, Joe. This, is, what, this so is what I love about Bangkok though. You walk along these little streets and you cannot help but stop and buy more and more and more yeah, food. Yeah. Just the smell coming off this chicken. But yeah, we already have some time and we, were, and we already have chicken. It's a double, double bubble, isn't it?
บ๊ายบายครับขอบคุณครับโชคดีครับบ๊ายบายครับ Like as Joe said it's not always about when you walking around in Bangkok even for me that's been here seven years this is what I live for it's not always about the food I like I'm not gonna go oh this it might be the best some time I've ever had it might be the best grilled chicken I've ever had probably not I'm not gonna say probably not but I mean it's not gonna be the best but It's not about it being the best. It's about coming out and having like real human interactions, yeah. especially in the in this this day and age of of grab bike food panda. People aren't even leaving their houses. They ain't even leaving their apartments. Um, on your phones all day. It is ironic I'm saying that because I'm actually filming this on my phone. But you know, you get the point I'm making. I love just getting out, seeing real local life. And uh, just interacting with people, basically. But well, food's about the experience, right? It's about so much more than taste. Yeah, 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 yeah. Taste it's about the people, the subjective. history, the story, the and the taste, the ingredients, where exactly. they come from. That's what we get when we're walking down these soils. Exactly. Like I just asked Uncle where he's from, Yasuton, um, in the northeast, where they where they are uh, famous for Hummali rice. But oh, nice. You're not going to know that if you order that off Grab Food, are you? <laughs> so this is the little street that we were just on. I mean, talk about. Talk about a contrast when you you go from this, and this is the same anywhere in Bangkok, and then up into the skyscrapers in the into the background. It's the same the whole way around, but you've got all these old look, tin roofs, ramshackle houses, and you've got all the modern skyscrapers and modern buildings in the background. But I don't know what's better. You tell me. <laughs> Hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king is back though. Corvette and cash, I never like those. She saw the stone, you know how that go. Fatality, my diamonds that cold. Versace trunks, I hit my backstroke. Knock on the door. She at the back, bro. All it really take is a little taste. I like girl blue eyes with a little bass. Here for the thrill, I don't need a chase, sir. Wanna vibe it to get away. Shimmy, shimmy, y'all got the semi four way. Don't step out the line like this, a probate. You hit the line and try to locate. This for the time, got time for All right, guys, so we've made it. So as soon as you get over that little bridge with the with the freeway underneath you, the entrance to the park is here, 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, to be honest, it's been. I'll show you a little bit of the park. I'll show you some drone footage just so you can see what the park's like. We'll walk along these elevated walkways, which are quite nice, and I will then direct you to go and look at Joe's video for the rest of the information about the park. Um, you can watch Joe's video, Paddy's video, anyone's video. But yeah, go and check their videos out, guys. Mine are boring as. Really think I'm seeing things. Read the line in between. Yellow light, I gotta speed up. Get home to a cold shower. Need that pronto. Look, look, look like a rave at the condo. Heck of a night in Toronto. She said, boy, you in Morocco. Pearl White mentioned in the top goal. All right, so first impressions of the park. We've just come in, as I said, from the entrance. We're on this elevated walkway. Um, Joe tells me that, and I knew this from watching Joe's video earlier, this is the newer part of the park. Um, so I guess, I don't know how long this has been here. A year, is it? Have you known for long? Yeah, about a year and a half, somewhere year and a half. in the pandemic it opened. So it's all fully planted, nearly. It's all uh, very green. And that's the thing I like most about it, that as you walk in, you've got like panoramic views of the skyline. You've got the city over there. You've got the freeway to our right. And then in the middle is just this lush sort of oasis of calm. And like Joe said, sometimes you just need that, right, in Bangkok? All right, guys, so we found our little spot to plot and have a little picnic. And uh, we've, Joe's taken us to a lovely little Roman amphitheater looking, uh, looking thing. Nice pond in the middle. We're gonna sit here, enjoy our picnic. Nice walk, wasn't it, Joe? Lovely. Only took us two and a half hours. <laughs> that 15 minute walk we were gonna do. But it's worth it, look at this, look at the view. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, guys, so I'll run you through quickly. I know you've all watched my Apollo fried chicken video. Don't tell me you didn't watch it. Um, so here's the pot of fried chicken. So she's given us breast, uh, a drumstick, wing, a little bit of thigh. And on top of that, what they're famous for really is this gratiam chiao, the crispy fried garlic. So we're going to pour that over the top. Do you want me to just send you this, Joel? Yeah, yeah. 
No point in both of us doing this there. But get this completely covered, guys. And then I'm gonna swallow the rest of this. I'm gonna save a little bit. That's what you gotta do. When you pour this out for someone else, you save a little bit in the bag and you eat that for yourself. <laughs> this stuff One is for amazing. The chef. We've got Nam Jim Gai, sweet chili sauce. Nam Jim Jiao, which is the tamarind fish sauce, palm sugar. This one's mine. This one's Joe's. <laughs> we'll get Uncle's grilled chicken as well. What we'll do, we'll do a comparison. Change the video title to the Polo best Fried grilled chicken Best Grilled in Chicken in the, the best park in the world. <laughs> and then we've got two different sun So we've got the one for the real ties, the Isan. And then we've got Som Tam Thai. And I'll tell you a little story about both in a sec. Cheers, Joe. Don't forget our our dry, oh, I did get Tom Yum noodles. So we've got uh, chili, well, actually she's hardly put any chili in. There's a little bit of chili at the bottom. We've got some egg noodles. We've got some uh, prawn balls, some fish balls, fish cakes, um, pork balls, sliced pork, minced pork, egg noodles, which actually could be handmade and a nice squeeze of lime. And we've also guys got some liver. All right, I will fight someone to the death for a drumstick over a breast. <laughs> I'm gonna have this. Or do you want this and I'll have the thigh, Joe? No, you do that, I'll go for the thigh. Oh, I've got it, I want the yeah. thigh. <laughs> as, as, <laughs> as soon as you said drumstick, I was like, got it. Right, you can have, drum, you can have thigh there, I'll have thigh yeah, here, yeah? Yeah, deal, deal. It looks good though. I know it's been sat in the takeaway box for a little while. We took a little while to get over, so maybe it's gone slightly dry compared to how moist it is, but I mean, look at the crispy, crunchy garlic. Okay? It's so good. Salty, savory, umami. Would you just eat a bowl of that? I would eat a bowl of that. Easy. Easy. I mean, Have I wouldn't- they fried that in chicken fat? It mu must be. It just no. tastes like chickeny garlic, doesn't it? That is the thing about this polo fried chicken. Joe's right. It's all about the crispy, crunchy garlic. Holy fuck. And some people say that, and I've even um, aimed that at Apollo fried chicken before, because everyone rates it so high, they one, yeah, but if it wasn't for the crispy garlic, it wouldn't be anything special. But there is the crispy garlic, so that's what makes it special, right? Oh. Right, man, this is a romantic picnic, and I know I said I'd have the thigh, but you need to try this. It's so juicy and moist. Cheers, mate. Try that. That's good. He's got a tough job, but his look good. We'll, we'll save some of the crispy garlic to put on uncles as well. Mm. Yeah, look, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, the breast is a little bit dry, but, but do you know what I think that is? Yeah, it's because, like, let's, go, let's take a look at uncles, yeah? Uncles flattened his down, right? And it's a smaller bird and it's flattened down, whether the Apollo one isn't, so it's like, it's such a thick breast. Look at that. It's so thick. By the time everything else is cooked, that's cooked through, isn't it? It's not like, it's not an inedible dry, but like I would much rather just eat the thighs and the... It's probably a little, as I say, a little yeah, bit because we've been in here. Been but, in here, of course, of course. But, but yeah, that is how I've had, over. That's it's, how I've had chicken in here. It's got before. that like white protein that's come out in it. You know it's overcooked mm. when, that, when that comes yeah. out. But saying that, the leg and the thigh has stayed super, super moist. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you can just order thigh and leg, right? You, know, yeah, you don't yeah. have to have the half chicken. Any chicken aficionado will tell you that the leg is the best part anyway, leg and wing. And try uncles with a bit of that fried garlic. Mm. Uncles tastes more like a classic English barbecue, <laughs> doesn't it? That's the winner. Uncle's chicken, Polo's garlic. Oh! Smashed it out of the park. But you're right. That taste, because he was, he was cooking it on the grills in front yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah. That's the flavor I associate with barbecue chicken. Yeah, yeah. As they say, winner, winner. Gayang dinner. <laughs> Oops, I got to admit, they look a touch dry, don't mm. they? I think because 
We told her we were eating them in the park, so she was like... And to be oh. fair, I did ask for dry noodles. I mean, yeah, yeah. She might have taken that a bit too literally. Yeah, yeah, but I think because we were eating them in the park, she was like, right, they don't want any moisture at all <laughs> to drip on their clothes. I like dry noodles, though, but maybe. Anyway, let's see. Let's not judge before I put it in my mouth. I'm just I don't want to take all of them, mate. It's certainly flavoured. They're not dry. I think the noodles have sucked up the oil, so... There's a nice garlicky oily flavor to those noodles kind of like if i wanted a quick dinner when i was in england and i was coming home from work a bit of cooked pasta olive oil in the pan leave it a little bit it sucks it up this has kind of done the same thing yeah yeah there's a nice spicy hit from it the flavor is good touch i find these ancient noodles or these tom yum type noodles for me are always a touch sweet and i need a bit of pick nam som yeah, yeah. to go over it and this definitely needs pick nam som i know we have the lime but maybe we need a touch more but I just love this. These dry noodles, the pork, which is obviously always tasty, the peanut, and the texture in here with the wonton fried wonton wrapper. We've got some of these pork balls, which looks like they've been fried as well. So it's a nice, for me, this is a nice, like, quick, snacky lunch yeah. that you stop quickly and, uh, and eat. So can't complain about so, that so one. The, all right, guys, we're going to have to do this real quick because the heavens are about to open. Good job that Joe already got the drone up and got you some shots. <laughs> Two somtams. Two somtams. So we've got somtam thai, somtam bubala. The wimp somtam. Ah. Yeah, the wimp somtam that's got 17 chilies in it. <laughs> oh man, we might have to take a pause. Ah! Now, guys, should, should we move for? to under the shelter? All right, guys, so we've been rained off. Oh, sorry, ladies. We've been rained off. We're all hiding underneath the... Uh, you can stay there. Though. We've all... Um, we've been, we're hiding now underneath one of the bridges. Uh, we just want to finish off the video. He's thrown the chilies in there. That is spicy. It's more pungent than the one we tried in Wanlang yeah, Market. Yeah. But say so again, for me, that's the flavor of the ocean. It's not... It's a bit funky, but... You love it. I love it. And this time, it's crab. What's your name? Uh, Linnea. Linnea. Uh, we're Where? from Sweden. Sweden? Oh, yeah. Skål. Skål. <laughs> okay. All right. So we're going to retitle the video, a Swede eating some kupala <laughs> first time under a bridge. Yes. Me. Spicy. Spicy, yes. Fishy. Mm. You get it, a little like. Bit. Yeah. Most very spicy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, for me, it's not too spicy. I've been here three months, so I'm used to it. Uh, but we, this is uh, our first first day. First day. Yes. Ah, <laughs> welcome. This is the <laughs> this is the most Thai thing you can eat. Like this is the top. Yes. Thai, it's the most Thai. This is like serious, serious, like level level ten Thai. This is top. So, Congrats. the day one Swede in Thailand has eaten yes. it. The three month veteran from UK, you know the one person who hasn't eaten it, yeah. is the Bangkok food vlogger, Roman Cook. So, All right, go on, go here on, we go, go Gary. Go oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa. oh. I've still got a little bit of remnants. Ped, ped. My ped. My ped? My ped. But like it's not bad. I'm not like. It is. It's, you're right. It's not that fishy. It's not. It is just kind of funky, salty, Ocean. umami. Yeah. Oceany, yes. But the, that throws me off because they're not ocean fish. They're um, they're okay. freshwater fish, but with loads of salt on. But I get the, what you mean. It's just got that sort of that background Ozone fishiness. It's not like it's not like dried uh, bamok squid, for instance. It's not yeah. like dried squid. It doesn't have that like oh, taste to it. It's fine, it's spicy. I could get on with it for sure. I do like the addition of the aubergines. I like the dried chilies instead of the fresh chilies. Very, very spicy, very, very fresh. You I'm know what it is? I'm on board. It doesn't rain anymore. Ah, thank you, thank so, you so much. much. All right, guys, the rain is, that doesn't just completely start. So we're gonna cut it off here, we're gonna leave it here. As you can tell by the video, Joe, much better explaining food than me. So get over to Anxiously Abroad or Joe Perilla now and check out some of his other videos. Thank you so much for joining me today, pleasure, John. Pleasure, my friend. Thank you for helping me to explain, helping me to eat, and uh, safe travels back to uh, back to uh, Europe. Europe.
tomorrow, my friend. Safe travels with a belly as well. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I hope we've given you somewhere else to come and look at in Bangkok. Let me know if you like this little walk around. We'll do some more walk around videos. I'll do some more walk around videos. Joe will be back soon to do some more uh, collaborations. And we will see you in the next one.